Now let's go to the cover letter. Which cover letter are we expected to be having? Yeah. Uh, so a cover letter should be one page. To your left, sorry, to your right, you put your address. You put your name in bold. Caps letter in bold. Below it, put the name of your current workstation in the CV. Below that, you put the address of that current workstation. Below that, you put your numbers, your contacts. Below that, you put your email. Then you skip a line. Then below, you put the date. That's to your right. That is your address. To your left, you come back. You write to. If the advert said you're writing to the human resource officer, manager, you can write to the human resource, the human resource manager. Then below you put the name of that company. Skip a line. You write, dear sir or madam. Never say dear sir, never say dear madam. Even if you know the sex of that person. Reason that this is a formal letter. From dear sir or madam, you skip a line. You write RAE. Application for the position of human resource. Application for the position of administrative office manager. Or application for the position of counselor. You get the point. It is in bold RAE. It is in bold capital letter and bold. Then below that, you start the body like this. Some of you write, uh, I saw the advert in the, new, in the newspaper. No, that is wrong. Uh, I'm, 28, I'm 28 years of old. I'm, uh, I'm a Uganda. That is relevant. This is how you start. And it is with great enthusiasm that I apply for the position of human resource officer. Full stop. You get the point? You stop there. Then you continue say, by saying, I hold a bachelor's degree in human resource management from this university where I hence attain knowledge and skills in. So that's how you should write. From the certain right, it is great enthusiasm that I applied for the position of human resource officer or social work or the like, full stop. I hold a bachelor's degree in arts and education, a bachelor's degree in arts and development studies from this university, hence attiring knowledge and skills in. Now, from when you write knowledge and skills in, from that, you go to your transcript. Check, look out for the courses you did in your degree or diploma and the like that are relevant to that position. If it's human resource manager, what courses did I do in my degree that are relevant to that position? Yeah? What did I do? If I told you it is uh, social work, what courses did I do in my degree that are relevant? You choose around five to seven. Like, for example, here, uh, this one was, I, had a, I hold a bachelor's arts in social sciences from Macquarie University, has attaining knowledge and skills in theory and management of organizations, comma, dynamics of work and experience, comma, local government administration, comma, project and program management, comma, and social research methods. This one is so that those courses studied in social, that's the Bachelor's of Arts and Social Sciences, are relevant to human resource and administrative officer, the job she was, up, she was applying to. You get the point, eh? So, that is your first paragraph, full stop. You have talked about your education, how to go from education. Now you skip a line, you go to the second paragraph. My experience as human resource officer, human resource assistant, and human resource intern at this organization respectively has given me the opportunity to develop technical expertise in. Now, that's when you go back to you, the competences you wrote in your CV. Yeah? You don't write the rules and duties you did. No. You write my experience as a social worker, my experience as a social worker at this organization, community development office uh, here, and uh, community executive uh, here, has given me the opportunity to develop technical expertise in, then you go back to your, to your competencies and write them there. Write about five. Here, uh, we wrote, because it was human resource, my experience as human resource stroke officer at this company, an administrative officer at that company has given me an opportunity to develop technical expertise in human resource strategy creation and execution, comma, recruitment and selection, comma, employee experience expertise, comma, human resource reporting skills, comma, evaluating, monitoring and controlling public and private activities, comma, and operations and staff management, full stop. So you get this from 
the competence and skills that you wrote in your CV, comma. Sorry, full stop. Then you continue with, therefore, with this education background and work experience, experience coupled with my sense of organization and detail oriented approach to work makes me an ideal candidate for this kind of job full stop that is your second paragraph it has talked about your experience what you gain from the experience competences talked about your personal attributes that last statement was about personal attributes full stop you skip a line the third paragraph you write i would value the opportunity to join your team of professions where i would develop my skills further full stop you continue for information refer to my cv full stop then skip a line then you go write the statement thank you for reviewing my cover letter and i hopefully wait for your response full stop you skip a line you write your sincere yours faithful comma then you leave around two lines whereby you can your signature can fit below that you write your name in bold then below your name you write your position say human resource manager human resource officer in bold then below you write the name of the company that is how your cover letter should look like. You are like talking. You are writing to the next company as you. So basically, that has been our training. That has been, uh, I hope you guys have gained insights. Uh, feel free. If at all uh, you have anything that you want to ask, uh, put a comment. I will kindly respond on, the, on, on this YouTube uh, video. And hopefully, you can share the link to others, subscribe. And in case of any inquiry, my page has my email. And then, uh, wish you good luck. That has been a training on, uh, I think you have gotten how a CV should be retained, uh, the, the cover letter, and some insight about what you should study, what should be expected in your field. We have been handling adult and community education, social work, psychology, development studies, human resource. Uh, and administration that has been the field thank you so much have a good day